Hello everyone, all who are in one body of Christ, I say welcome to this day that has given us together. Today I am meditating upon the world's powerful weapon. Before we start, let's see what Scripture talks about in this topic. Psalms chapter 27, verse 7. Hear, O Lord, when I cry aloud, be gracious to me and answer me. Now let's see what we can learn from the verse we just read. As a good fighter, David knew how to use his weapons, whether it's a sling, a heavy sword, or a prayer. He wants his anxiety to be heard by God. In this verse of this psalm, David's earnest prayer seems to have been promoted by a returning sense of danger. He had the assurance of the divine favor in his deliverance. He is fully convinced that his God is ready to help him. He did not doubt. Instead, he put his full confidence and showed his full dependency on the one who knows he will provide the ultimate solution for his distress. He knows that God will aid him and that he... what. And that is what encouraged him to do it. With all the deep felt conviction of his heart that God was ready and willing to assist him, he felt that he had no reason to hope for his aid unless he called upon him. The phrase, when I cry with my voice, refers to the fact that when he prayed audibly or aloud, it was not mental prayer, but what, that which found expression in the language of earnest entreaty. This message also gives a promise for a day today. The promise is, Ask and it will be given to you. Seek and you will find. Knock and it will be opened to you. For everyone who asks receives. For everyone who seeks finds. And to who knocks it will be opened. Let's close time in prayer together. Please join me in this prayer. Dear Lord, Heavenly Father, Mighty, Wonderful God, Lord, as I read the passage I see and I understand to raise voice to bring my plea to you so I can get the deliverance from all my iniquities. Lord, help me to come out of my distress to live under the peace I receive by your presence now and forevermore. In Jesus' holy name I pray, amen. Have a blessed day, everyone. If God's going to talk to you tomorrow.